So before going to the next topic, just let us have a small discussion about the three R's, what you can do. The first one is reduce. So we can reduce the usage of natural resources, we can reduce the consumption of electricity, we can reduce the usage of water. What you can do? You can do that. You can reduce the usage of electricity. You can switch off the lights when they are not in use. So switch off the lights. Again in these lights you can do so many things. You can use CFL instead of uh, bulbs. You can use CFL or you can use LED bulbs that are available and certain governments they are providing these LED bulbs on subsidy. So by that the energy is less amount of energy is consumed. So we can switch off to these LED bulbs. We can use the CFL bulbs and when there is no use you can switch off the light and you can arrange some kind of ventilation to your house. So by the daytime you need not use light. You can allow the fresh sunlight to come into your house and by proper ventilation you can save power. using ventilation. So by these methods we can reduce the consumption of electricity and the same time in the same way water is the another important natural resource which we can use properly judiciously. So you know all these in your lower classes you studied do not run the tap in the sink while you brush. So you are brushing don't leave the tap open just you can take the water in a mug and after finishing your brushing you can use the water of mug. If you are simply leaving the tap for the whole process of brushing you may be wasting one bucket of water. See how many liters of water, water you are wasting. In the same way even bathing. So if you take a shower, if you use a bathtub you are wasting a lot of water. And we can less water we can use when it is not needed and we can check the leaks of taps. So if there is any leakage in the tap, you should immediately call your plumber, get it corrected. Otherwise, drop by drop, a lot of water is wasted, at least a bucket a day. So count how many buckets of water is wasted in one month or one year. So it will be a very large amount. So with this little or simple steps, you can take part in the maintenance or in the conservation or in the protection of natural resources. So this is the first one, reduce. Let us talk about reuse. Certain resources can be reused. We can reuse that. So what you can reuse? We can use various kinds of containers, glass containers or plastic containers or bags. Simply many, item, many of the food items or different items what we purchase in the shopping malls, they are packed in different containers. Once we take out the content, we need not throw the packing in the dustbin. Because certain package material can be reused, for example metal cans, for example jam bottle, glass bottle. So the glass bottle after you finish up the jam or honey, you can use the bottle to store some spices in your kitchen. So in this way you are reducing the waste, you are cutting off the waste. So this is the reuse, we can add some creativity to the reuse, the old items can be well decorated. You can use them for decorating your house or you can use them for different purposes. You see the broken buckets. The broken buckets can be used as a flower pot. You can grow a tree or a, uh, you can grow a small plant in that. Broken buckets or damaged or old buckets or tires. Tires are used in a different way, in a noble way to decorate and for play. You can make some swings for the children to play. So in this way, we can reuse the materials, even the cloth, old cloth, old cloth, saris or something, they can be used to make bags, cloth bags. So these cloth bags can be used for shopping, so they reduce the usage of plastic covers, hand covers. So in this way, we can add our creativity to reuse the materials. Reusing a material is not a shame. Somebody may laugh at you, why are you using that old drink can as a pen stand? You can say that, you can proudly say that you are taking part in the conservation of natural resources. You need not feel shy. 
if you are using any old item again in a new way somebody may mockingly laugh at you but you can proudly say that you are taking part in the conservation of natural resources you are a very responsible citizen you will be a very responsible citizen you will be very responsible student of india you can say that right so reuse the third one is so reduce is the first one reuse is the second one you can see that recycle many of the materials can be recycled instead of producing a new one paper can be recycled cardboard can be recycled plastic can be recycled metal can be recycled glass can be recycled many of the materials can be recycled so first you need to identify what materials can be recycled segregate them say for example your mother has thrown all the waste in one garbage bin she might be not aware of certain materials or degrade certain materials or recyclable certain materials are non recyclable so you can segregate all the recyclable materials you can sell them to the vendors people who buy the waste papers waste items waste toys plastic iron all such items are purchased by some people because by selling that they get some profit you can carry all these materials and you can get some money out of that not only that you are contributing for the conservation of natural resources if simply you dump all these things in the garbage bin it is thrown into the garbage truck the garbage truck carries the all the garbage to one dumping yard so everything will be dumped over there so instead of that if you segregate these materials like paper plastic metal and glass this kind of items you segregate you separate them and if you sell them there they will be sent to the respective factories glass bottles will be sent to the glass factory cardboard will be sent to the cardboard factory paper will be sent to the paper factory where they are recycled and once again the product is made so in this way you at your level you can contribute for the protection of natural resources conservation of natural resources so the next one why do we need to manage our resources what is the necessity i told you reuse the materials recycle the materials and reduce the consumption of uh, different uh, materials or energy why somebody may think why i should do that why should i reduce i have money i have plenty of money i can buy anything so i don't want any money to sell all this old waste simply i will throw i don't have time to segregate this to sell this at one point so i don't have time i don't have any necessity because i have money i can buy new things at any time why i should reduce my comfort i want it to be at my comfort i write on uh, as many papers i like i write only one line in one paper i have so many books i can use as i like so if this is the attitude these decisions are they are not environment friendly decisions even though you have good amount of money you when even though you think that plenty of resources are available around you you cannot take such non environmental friendly decisions why so here we are discussing why because one thing is that we are getting energy from the sun okay energy is a bountiful source of energy sun out of the energy only a few part of the solar energy is consumed by us and we not only require energy we require energy at the same time we require energy plus materials minerals so materials are required means minerals are required we require carbon compounds we require metals we require coal all these things to make day to day products i already told you all your comforts your sofa sets your television set and your house your bed your clothes your utensils your kitchen wear your cosmetics and your personal wear and your uh, footwear everything your books your bag everything that comes from the earth energy comes from the sun so we cannot think that whatever is coming from the earth is unlimited it is limited so earth has got all these things in a limited value limited amount you may think that oh everything is coming from the factories every day thousands and thousands of goods are produced 
So you cannot think that they will produce it like that for a very long time. At some point they will stop. So they are mining for some iron, some metal, some gold, some copper. It will stop at some point. They are mining for petrol, diesel, that is a petroleum. They are mining for coal. They are mining for this natural gas. At some point it will stop. That means the amount of coal present in the earth is limited. One day it will be exhausted, finish. And the petroleum, one day it will be finished, over. So it happens, that means the natural resources are limited. We cannot think that unlimited. So as they are limited, we need to manage our resources. That is the reason. Because resources are limited. Certain resources, they are unlimited, but even then, it takes very long time for the formation. Again and again they form, but it takes very long time, millions of years. So if you use all it in one day, you have to wait for million years again to form. So that is the case. One thing is resources are limited. That is the reason why you should manage our resources. Second thing is that pollution. If you are using these natural resources at a very high rate, in very less time, they cause pollution. Air is polluted, water is polluted. Deforestation leads to less rainfall. It leads to increase in the global temperature, that is the greenhouse effect. In this way, so many problems are caused because of the over usage of the natural resources. So one thing is the resources are limited. The other one is pollution is caused. 